Hello guys, welcome back. So today I thought I had this idea. I'm not sure, I'm sure it's been done actually, but instead of a get ready with me makeup edition, I'm gonna do get ready with me skincare edition because you know, that's what I love. <laughs> so I swear the second I start filming, it's like my whole face starts itching, especially my nose. Um, so let's get into it. But before I do, please do like, subscribe, do those things. I know we all say that, that it helps, but it really truly does. And I'm so appreciative of every single one of you that likes this video, that subscribes because of it or has su subscribed before. Um, and yeah, it's, it's very helpful and I do appreciate it. Now that I've gotten that out of the way with <laughs> moving my bowl of water, because if this was first thing in the morning, which it's not, it's about noon. I've already filmed one video today, but I wanted to film this one as well because I'm very excited about this. And now I'm actually getting ready for the day. Um, so I have a very clean face, nothing on it right now. And I'm going to just kind of go through the steps that I would go through on a normal day. Now, I'm going to say this a few times during this video. My skincare changes. I'm not one of those people that does the exact same thing every single day for years on end. Nope. It changes depending on what I'm trying because I am trying a lot of products. It changes depending on the weather. It changes depending on my skin. It just changes. So if you're ever wondering why I use different products, that's why. Also, I just, I, I really like trying new things. So we're gonna go with what I am preparing for for today. Today is super hot. It's East Coast. I don't know where you guys live, but I feel like the rest of the world is having a heat wave right now. And it's pretty typical for like mid-August to be this hot here, but it's very hot. It's very humid and I don't want a ton on my face today. So that said, let's go. Okay, so the first thing, when I wake up, I don't necessarily wash my face with a cleanser. If I do want to remove maybe an overnight mask, I will use um, a gentle, gentle cleanser. And this, I know it's in like a icing, um, what's it called? Bottle. This is actually a secret formula that I'm working on for my skincare company. And you're going to see a few things from my company, but not all. Um, so this is a cleanser. I'm not going to use that today, but normally I would just, I have a bowl of water right here, by the way. <laughs> normally I would just rinse my face with water and rinse anything off. I also really love these little you know, like reusable cotton rounds. I think they're good because they have a little bit more kind of weight to them. If you need to get any products off your face, this is a good way to do it without actually drying your skin out with a cleanser. So guys, how have you been? I've been busy and good. Um, so it's the end of the summer in terms of like school year. I actually work at a university and I'm in education. So it is the end of, oh God, this is gonna be crazy. So it is actually the end of the summer and we're preparing for the fall semester. I also just learned this past week that I have to start going back into the office, which is very upsetting to me. I love working from home, um, but you know, it is what it is. And my schedule is going to be very easy. I only have to go in two days a week, so I can't complain. Okay, next up. Sometimes I use a toner. This is the Q&A niacinamide toner. Um, I have a video where I get to shop my wish list. So if you want to see that video, I have that mentioned in here. Sometimes I use toner. Sometimes I don't. It's kind of dependent. Um, my skin is not one of the skin types that just needs a toner. So for me, it's kind of like if I have the time, which today I do. This is a dry cotton round. You can get these cotton rounds on Amazon. They're pretty much everywhere these days, which is nice. And I have like a white version and a black version. And I would definitely recommend the black version because the white ones get so dirty. Even if you wash them, you're just like, is it ever clean? So this is probably the same, but I don't see it, which is nice. I will talk through some of them, but others I'm just gonna list below. That way I can actually like do a get ready with me. But I did wanna mention this new product. This is the Lumi Finland um, Nordic Hydra Aqua Lumisense Aqua um, Beauty Lotion. So it's kind of like an essence. Well, it is. And I don't typically like essences. I feel like they don't do a ton. But this, I have just been like obsessed with. Like obsessed. And I don't put it on a cotton round. I just use my hands. It has this kind of it's not water, like it has more of like more viscosity than water and it has a scent, but I, mm, I would bathe in this stuff if I could. Okay, so I have three serums. I'm not gonna use all of them, but I tend to do a few different serums normally. 
This is my all-time favorite. This is my brand. Um, this is the Plus Minus Triple Crown. If you're looking for a plumping, hydrating serum, this is 100% it. And then this is the Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin um, Daily Vitamin Defense Serum. This is really nice. It They also give you a ton of it. I think this is, what, 1.69 fluid ounces, so way more than a lot of other serums. I don't know if I've seen a lot of differences from it, but I continue to use it. <laughs> and then I'm trying to finish this one up. This is the Niacinamide Serum. Anything I think niacinamide for me is good in the summer times. It does help to improve the look of your pores. I don't have very large pores, but I, I do tend to use this in the summer more than in the winter. And again, I'm just trying to use this up. So today I'm gonna go for this one and this one. So yeah, I, um, I'm going back into work and you know, we, we're starting off with kind of like a temporary new schedule and I go in two days a week and really it's going to be like one and a half days because, well, just a few things are going to work out in that favor. Um, but I don't know. I think my boss is very, she's a very like people person. She loves, she's an extrovert. She loves that kind of thing. I've learned through quarantine that I am apparently more of an introvert, <laughs> but I also just find that I don't need eight hours to work. So like when you go into an office, you're sitting in front of your desk, you just have to be there. You can't do anything. You can't make the food that you want to make. And when I work from home, I get to do all those things. And I also just don't find that it takes me eight hours to do my work. So I will like sit down and do all of it in four hours or something. And then I'm like, now I don't need to sit in front of my desk. So I don't know, that's just me. Um, this is also, this is the Triple Crown Serum, um, and I let that one kind of, this one's pretty much soaked in, even though it looks like it hasn't, it's tacky to the touch. I've also been reading a few things about, like, the new normal in workplace, like, culture, but a lot of the times I think people, their bosses, are the extroverts, the type that need to be around people. They gain energy and ideas from that, whereas a lot of other people maybe that aren't in management are, like, the more introverted. So for me, I, I'm, a, I'm definitely a mix of the two, but I do find that being home and like having my own things around me and having like the, the flexibility to, to sit where I wanna sit, like little things like that, they actually give me more energy. So it's this weird kind of give and take. And I think a lot of companies have come to understand that we don't all work the same and some people are way more efficient from home, but I wish I just didn't have to go in at all. But I'm trying to I'm trying to think of it like oh I'm going to a coffee shop two days a week instead of me being like I have to go into the office so you know I know I am very very fortunate but it doesn't erase the fact that I want to stay at home next up is eye cream I use both of these this is the Lumi again in the video that I will link above and then this is the Ule Hendrickson banana bright eye cream um this is very expensive and I don't find that it has done anything to actually improve like the brightness under my eyes, but I don't have super dark eyes. I do tend to use this more in the morning and then this one more at night. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use this one today. And I've used mm, almost all of it. I don't know. No, I guess I still have like half left. But other than me going back to work in about a week, you know, I'm just kind of gearing up for the market season for my business for plus minus skincare. I will link a video I just did on all about that here. If you have any questions about it, I'm always available to talk. Definitely the fall and the winter, kind of the holiday season, they just get busier for the markets and it's not as hot, which is nice because right now it's like, it's just brutal to be out at markets selling your stuff um, and I try to avoid it. <laughs> but so that's one thing coming up. And then I'm actually getting, well, I'm already married, but my husband and I, were engaged last February 2020 and of course then COVID happened and we had planned our wedding to be in August in New York but then of course again that fell through and we decided last year around this time actually in a week <laughs> we were like we're just gonna go we're gonna go to the courthouse we're gonna get married and then we can have the big celebration and party later so we did we are married and now it's time for that celebration it feels a little weird I'm not gonna lie because I'm not the type of person that like ever envisioned her wedding and 
I don't know, sometimes it's hard to like let myself celebrate myself. <laughs> but I always knew that when I was gonna get married, it was gonna be about the celebration and like being with your friends, your family, and actually saying these things like, I love you. And <laughs> I mean, more than that, like we're not doing vows, but the, the act of sharing that with your friends and family, it's very important. So we could have not done this and that was definitely an option, but it just felt like, I don't know, like COVID took that from me. So I'm not gonna let that happen this year. So we are having that celebration in October. So that's another thing that I have got kind of like coming around the bend and doing a lot of planning for that still. Okay, I'll shut up talking though. And I will show you three options. I know, like I said, I have lots of options, but these are three different moisturizers that I typically put on in the morning. This is the plus minus. This is our fancy tansy. This is the newest moisturizer and it's a beautiful, beautiful like blue from the um, blue tansy essential oil. It's so perfect for the summertime. It's moisturizing, but it's not dewy. So it's just, I don't know. It's, it's really wonderful. And then I'm trying to finish this one. This is Centella Green Level Recovery Cream. So I think a lot of people probably use this at night, but I actually found that I, it does just fine during the day. And this would be like the middle of the road. And then if you need a super amount of hydration and moisturization, this is the La Roche-Posay Hydra Rich HA. This one is gonna give you dewy skin. If you have dry skin, highly, highly recommend. So it kind of goes in order like this one, then this one, and then this one. So more oily, normal, dry. And today I'm gonna go with the Centella just because my skin is pretty normal right now. I don't need anything crazy. Um, and it is just blazing hot out. So I really should use mine. But um, like I said, sometimes I get to the bottom of a certain product and I'm like, I got it. Just, I want to finish it. I want to be done with it. Not that it's bad, but you know, there's something nice and enjoyable about finishing a product. So during the day, I don't need a ton of moisture. Um, I actually could have probably just skipped this step and I would have been fine but I wanted to show you what I would do kind of on a normal day when I'm staying inside the house. And the last step is this, which is sunscreen. This is the Misha Essence uh, Sun SPF 45 PA++. I did this in a review a long time ago. It was like my Korean and Japanese sunscreen haul. So if you wanna check that out, check that out here. And this was always kind of like the middle of the road. Um, but after a lot of those sunscreens, not all of them, but some of my favorites were deemed to not have the proper SPF rating. I kind of stopped using some of those and actually started using this a lot more. And I, this is again, another thing that I'm trying to use up. I probably have about that much left. And it's a really, really wonderful sunscreen. Just like you put it on and you don't have to think about it. And I love that kind of sunscreen. So that's what I'm gonna use today. It does have a very, very light floral scent. I guess it's floral, yeah. Um, but it doesn't bother me in the, in the slightest and it doesn't seem to last either. But yeah, so I guess I have, I guess I have a lot going on. <laughs> when I say it out loud, it makes it seem like it because it's like, I have my job, I do YouTube, I also have a skincare company, I am planning a wedding. <laughs> oh, and we're renovating our house. So that's hopefully finishing in the next two months before the wedding. And then we're gonna be selling that, putting it on the market, um, and maybe having a child one day. <laughs> Can't believe I said that on YouTube. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. It feels, right now feels crazy. I think, I think we probably can all f agree to that. Also, yes, I just load up on sunscreen and this one you can load up on. There's not gonna be a cast. I don't know though. I just think that this, time in the world it's like something's coming at you from every angle no matter where you live like if you live in Europe you probably feel it too there are a lot of disagreements about the pandemic there are a lot of disagreements about political things uh, a lot of disagreements about the environment and it feels like it's overwhelming at times and then I'm like I don't have time for that on top of my normal life so like how do you manage it all and social media I forgot to mention that I kind of hate social media but like when you have a business, you need to keep up with it. So I'm not the best at it, but I do try. And I don't know if you guys have suggestions, if anyone wants to run um, plus minus skincare's uh, social media, reach out. I would love that. I can't pay you a lot, but if you want to do it, I'll let you do it. 
Does anyone else feel that way? Like, what have you guys been struggling with? Also, I'm washing my hands right now. Sorry. Can't stand the feel of sunscreen on my hands after I apply it. So what are you guys thinking? Like, how are you? I, I really want to get to know my subscribers better and it's so hard with YouTube because it's not as much of kind of like a back and forth. Like on Instagram, you can message people here. Here you can message people, but it's, it's just different. Um, so let me know how you guys are handling the crises of the world, how you're hand handling your life in this season. Um, I do remind myself that it is a season of life and as humans, I think we always think this is the worst. This No one has ever had it worse than me. And usually that's not true. I mean, sometimes it is. And your feelings are justified. But at the same time, like, I try to remind myself, I'll get through this. Life can be hard, but it's always going to be hard. And if it's not hard, you're probably going to be bored. Um, so it's just a different hard, depending on the year and the time and all that. But there are also so many things to be grateful for. And I do try to remind myself that. So I don't, I'm not trying to like tell you guys how to think and how to feel, but if you are struggling with some of these same things that I am, like just the overwhelm of the world, just remind yourself that we actually have it pretty good for the most part and things change. We don't know what it's going to be like in a year from now. It might be so much better. It might be way worse, but you know, there's something fun to that. And I think it's a way to encourage ourselves to think beyond where we are at this moment. So yeah, that got deep. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys like this. It was a short and sweet routine. I really try in the mornings. I don't have a ton of time, so I do kind of go through it pretty quickly. I am quite dewy right now, but it's also, I'm sitting in a little office. One day I'll show you guys this office. I have lights all around me. I'm blazing hot. It's just the second I go out into the air conditioning, I'll be fine. So this is not going to be like a dewy look like this all day. It just looks like that right now. But yep, that's it. That's my skincare routine. And if you're interested in any of these products, I will, of course, list them all below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to hear what you are going through and how you're feeling in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.